Yesterday, Buck and I watched this. I, I shared my screen with him, yeah. and we watched your, your stuff, and he was sort of giving me some thoughts. Yeah. Now, I've said this to you before, but whatever I suggest, you don't have to do. Yeah. You've got to figure out what you want to do, yeah. and you're going to get advice from loads of people. So it's all about, I don't have an ego with my coaching. So if you want to do what you want to do, that's cool. I'm going to just suggest things that I think are going to work, but ultimately you make your own mind up. Yeah. Yeah? And you, you sort of think it through, try it, feel it, doesn't feel right, that's cool. What Buck and I are saying comes back to like cocking your wrists, which we yeah. spoke about last time, and you said you went back to doing it because it felt comfortable, yeah. so that's fine. Buck reckons that because this is hard wicket on bowling machine, you can get away with, like that's a nice position, you can get away with just sort of pumping them, but there, see how you inside clunked it yeah. a little bit because he's like oh it's bottom hand everything's bottom hand everything's coming this way and you're just you're stronger now you're taller and stronger and you can feel like on this sort of surface you're just murdering the ball you're just bullying the ball but you got to bear in mind that buck comes from a a very much battler test cricket yeah. mentality so when he sees players like just just punish the ball with their bottom hand he do, he's not a fan of that that's his whereas you could get like Chris Lynn coach you and he'd be like yeah that's awesome keep slapping them because that's what he does yeah. but he's not it doesn't have a game for test cricket so if you like when you're there and your toes in the air what Buck reckons is it doesn't then engage this left side much you're already cocked you're already up and then from there you end up not using that and just pushing everything with your bottom hand and while it's on hard wicket against the bowling machine it'll feel good yeah. it'll feel fine but you go against jimmy anderson in england and that's what you're aiming to do or you go against sam curran or someone you're going to play against in the future it's it, you're going to struggle to hit a ball there when it's swinging like that yeah. and i think you've got to be setting up to play those best bowls in the world yeah. so oh, that's not a bad shot you do a lot of great things. You yeah. do so many great things, and we were saying you're getting into pretty good positions, but that's a lot more cocked than I've seen you for a while. And then that, see like you collapse, you sort of, you come this way rather than sort of going through the ball. With your left side, yeah. Yep, um, getting your sense for me. Buck was saying he reckons your hands are quite a long way apart. I said, I don't think they are. It's hard to tell in that video. He reckons you could potentially try and get them like a little bit more like that. But that's... That is very tight. That's very tight. So you gotta, you got to figure yeah, out what works. Touching, yeah, I know. He, and he said, you could, he said to me, oh, you could almost try and get him to just do some underarms. Imagine he's like golf. Like he, he likes golf. Yeah, yeah. Like you could, you could almost try and put them on top of each other and see how that feels. Not... So almost like your bottom hand comes just slightly there, just to get them a bit closer together. But look, I'm not too fussed. It's worked for you for a long time, so don't. I don't think that's a huge issue. For me, I reckon I'd love to see, and we spoke about it last time, but you obviously weren't that comfortable. I'd love to see you just here, okay? As after, so after your trigger, so trigger, and keep your toe down, no, no, yeah? And then as you go into the ball, you pick your hands up, yes! As you saw, so you're there, and as you go into the ball, you pick your hands up. And then this is, oh, I sent this to Buck yesterday. Um, whoops. I sent this to Buck yesterday. And he's, he's got weatherall, so sorry, this is weatherall set up now. He's getting weatherall to sort of keep his toe down, and he then sort of cocks slightly as the ball's being released, and then he plays. I sent this, and this is just one person's ideas, right? Yeah. Buck's obviously a very good player, very good coach, but you don't have to do this. I sent him a couple of videos of me batting, a couple of, a couple of decent shots in there. He said, the last two drives of this video where you don't cock the wrists at all. And then he said, there, compared to this on the last drive is the first one. I think that one's so good. And then whereas it, that is the lowest in the first one. So I'm sort of, it's not much of a difference, but he thinks by being there, it forces me to then pick up, engage my left side, and then flow. Yeah. That's the theory. Now you've got to then put it into practice. So I feel like when we went, I was going low and that didn't really complement with my trigger very well. 
So what, what about what about something like you don't have to be low, like if we look at here. Because I watched Virat back. Virat's one of the very. Up. I don't think he's there at release though, is he? Um, watch this. Let's watch Shane Watson. So I reckon he does it quite well. He's there. And then he has a little wobble. But his bat is always sort of level. And Tendulkar was level. Smith's level. And then at release. So if we go to this account. I think I've shown you this before. That's just all the release, the release point videos. Yeah. So like, there's Smith. That's Smith at release. He's flat. Yeah. And then he sort of picks his hands up and then picks them up again. And then Virat's here. That's sort of Virat at release. It's sort of up a little bit. And this is in yeah. two, this is a while ago. Yeah, I reckon he's more up now. So, so I reckon, do your trigger. You don't have to be down, but just keep like almost try and be there. So your hands stay up. And then as the ball's released, so you've triggered, then you pick up. I see what you mean where it locks into that slide. Yeah, and that's what we're trying to, rather than just being someone that sort of, and that's where a lot of players slice the ball and they can't play the moving ball. Yeah. It's because they just push with their bottom hand. They don't, they don't hit with shape. So that's my suggestion. Like I said, try it, see how you go. That's the theory, but you've got to try and make it work. Make sense? So just let's let's do a few maybe underarms to start, where you just feel that, and then we can go to sidearm. But yeah, ultimately it's up to you how you do it. If you do that, that's fine. You'll find a way to make it work. But just bear in mind, I want you, I'm really keen for you to try and be a, a fi average 50 in test cricket over 100 tests, yeah. not just be a, a bully on hard decks against the bowling machine. Yeah. And that's what a lot of people do. They spend hours and hours and hours on bowling machine, they think they're doing good things because they're smacking them, but it's not the same environment as playing on turf against someone moving the ball. Make sense? Yeah. See, that was a bit, a little bit pushy. Just stroke the ball, you don't have to hit it hard. You're so big and tall and strong now, you don't have to hit it hard. Just stroke it, get your weight in the ball. Yeah, boy. That's it, that's it, just stroke it. Awesome. Shot. Don't try and over hit him here, chum. Don't try and put pace on the ball. Just get in good positions and stroke the ball. That's it, that's it. How'd that feel? All right. Okay, good. Yes, chum, that's elite. You don't have to hit it any harder than that. That's gone well over the boundary. That's a push with your backside. That's a better shot. That's a lovely shot, chum. Last piece of the puzzle, just hit and just hold your shape for longer. Hold your shape for longer. Behind the ball. Yes, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. That's nice though. Hold it. Longer. Beautiful swing. How'd that feel? Yeah. That's weightless, Yep. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. And then you want to get it to. Yep. Ultimately, you got to yeah, you got to make your own decision. Why do you want it weightless? What's the goal with weightless? No, I'm just saying it feels. Yeah, I know, but is that is there a reason that that matters? Do you think or not? No, not. Okay. I just just done it. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Because I think yeah, you're right. But it, like, does is there a reason why it needs to be weightless? Because it's not a heavy bat.
That's a lovely shot. Hold it, hold your shape. That's a beautiful shot, chum. You're right. Hang on, I'll move that. <laughs>